Sitting and thinking about writing a song I'm my pen but nothing to write it on My hopes are starting to foul So I find my space on the wall and Gotta write quick cause I hear nature's call I wrote my song in between the news My song is called The Outhouse Blues Outhouse Blues Outhouse Blues I wrote my song In between the news Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode three. Oh, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hey, what? Wh where do you think you're going? No, no, no. Back inside. Yeah, okay. There. Go there. Holy cow, these villagers. Worse than kids. Seriously. So a quick little update. So we have uh, sort of finished the exterior, the interior of the uh, of the chalet. Uh, yeah, I may have had a little accident there. Um, I might have been attacked a little. So I have some villagers, as you see, and I've been playing around with um, the uh, villager mechanics, um, trying to get a mending villager and uh, I've learned a couple of things uh, one of the important things is if you ever trade with a villager you can't change you've you've basically locked him so you can't change him so uh, good to know but um, I unfortunately had um, bad omen in the last episode and what I didn't realize when I had Bad Omen, and then I got a villager. So I had converted a villager. Oh, I guess we need, we've got extra villagers that need to get an extra bed. Um, so, yeah, uh, <laughs> I got a villager. Um, I converted him. Uh, that all seemed to work well. And then I ran into an issue, and that issue was, let's see, is that spruce? Yes, it is. And I need to get, here we go, that's fine. I'm um, gonna make another bed for him. Yeah, see, they try, keep trying to open the doors. So the um, villager that I had, um, the minute I got him, I got him inside the house, and then suddenly a raid started. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I thought, okay, not a big deal. I'll fight the raid. Well, uh, the raid went reasonably well at first. Until, um, well, yeah, thank you, excuse me. They opened the door. I think it was raid number six, and they, they came in. They killed me. Um, and they killed my villager. And they had wiped out my bed, or that... No, he was standing on the bed. That was it. When I respawned, he was standing on the bed, so I couldn't spawn back in the house. So I ended up spawning way over there in spawn. Um, so long story short, how he was sad, but it worked out okay in the end. Um, he died, but, you know, we got over it. And um, we now have, as you can see, four villagers. Wait, no, that's not right. That's right. Yes. All right. And let's you know what, let's make a couple of beds. We're gonna just spam the heck out of the beds. And the reason for that is I want to get a mending villager. Just mending. That's all I care about right now. Um, and it's a lot easier to do than it used to be. So let's put our beds down. And yes, we have a fox. We actually had at one point in time, I think we had four foxes. Um, the illagers killed all my foxes. Yeah, hi, how's it going? And this guy keeps coming in the house. The minute I open the door, he pops in. Um, he had a, um, a spouse, as you will remember from the last video. I don't know where she's gone. I hope she's okay, but she could have gotten killed too. So, all right, so 
What do we have for illagers? Or villagers, sorry. Uh, no, that's a furnace. Yeah. Okay. So, eh, that's not that great a trade. Yeah, that's even worse a trade. And you don't want to trade because you need a lectern. That's right. All right. Do we have another one? It, no. But we do have a lot of bookshelves. So, yeah, let's just create very quickly another lectern. So, lecterns are pretty easy. Bookshelf and there. There we go. So, we got another one. All right. So, let's put that down. And let's see which one wouldn't trade was it you? Flame, eh, yeah. And then we have our one of our original villagers over here. So uh, he got silk touch uh, for one emerald and one book. So I am going to keep him. Um, I've made a whole bunch of uh, silk touch books, and I'll probably make a whole bunch more. But I I will keep him, and I'm going to try and I got to figure out. So I don't want these guys wandering around my base all the time. I do not want it like this. Um, so maybe I'll create like, I'm trying to figure out where to do it, but like a hidden hidden entrance somewhere that goes down so I can keep these guys down there. So uh, other than that, what else have we been up to? Um, let me go out here. You know, seems kind of silly, and it is. And I'll automate stuff and figure it out. But, um, so I had done a little bit of fishing to get stuff, and I'm pretty much done doing that. And I know there's a few of you that, you know, oh, you're fishing. Oh, you know, it is what it is. Um, if I had all the time in the world, it'd be great. But I created a very quick, uh, this is my garbage bin. So it is the final chest up there on the far right. And it's a trap chest. So that way, if I make a mistake and put something in there, I can pull it out. But it, this is very simple. It's just a four by four room. And then you have a cactus in the middle. You have a hopper to a dispenser. And you have a clock here. And the clock is, I mean, most of you guys know this stuff. But um, if for any reason that you don't, um, let's, uh, you just have a, a quick uh, clock circuit. And uh, so it recognizes when you have something in the dispenser, it sends a signal around and it spits it back out. Um, the beauty of that, though, um, let's go grab some dirt, um, is that I can just get rid of stuff. I find that my inventory gets very full. And um, I know a lot of people use lava, and that's okay, except for lava seems to, the noise radius for lava is, is, at least in my mind, pretty, pretty large. And I hate that. See, can you hear anything? Faintly. I can faintly hear the water, which could be coming from over here too. Let's, uh, where's my bucket? I'm, I've started trying to clean up my uh, inventory a little bit. Um, I also had a wee bit of an issue in that. Okay. Now let's hear, listen. Yeah, I can hear the water, but oh, it's so super faint. Um, I got blown up yesterday by a creeper. I have no idea where he spawned from because it shouldn't be able to spawn in here. But um, I didn't have my headphones on. I didn't hear him. I was looking down. I was actually moving stuff around and then, you know, it happened. So... Anyways, uh, let's go through, let's, uh, is there anything, I've kind of cleared it out already, but is there anything I want to get rid of? Let's just take a look. I mean, I will go through and get rid of a lot of the, wait, no, that, yeah, there, whoa, okay. Don't need any of this. So, if, for any reason, I made a mistake and I was like, oops, I want to get that back, I can. If I used a regular chest, that would start. So now you can hear. Let's Do we have enough of a... Yeah, let's just put in... Oh, I think I've got uh, cobble down here, don't I? Yeah, let's just grab some cobble. And there we go. And it works really quick. And that's the... What I like was uh, the design uses the... Uh, 
a quick tick signal on the clock, so that might even be gone by the time we get over there. Ow. Now there we go. And you'll see everything just kind of flows in here. And it just shoots across. And it dumps it all in until it gets to the point that that's it, it's done. So very quick, um, I think honestly because, I mean, it, no matter what, you use redstone, you're gonna have some lag. You, you will create server lag, 100%. But the thing is if you, if you do it in such a way where it's fast enough, which this is, it shouldn't create too much lag because it's not like I'm filling up the, uh, the trash bin constantly, so. So that's why I like that method. Okay, kitty, kitty, come here. Come here, kitty. Uh, no, no. Oh, so when you get a few more villagers, guess what you get? You get cats. Um, yeah, they spawn naturally in villages, which I knew that. Um... I, yeah, I guess I was, just wasn't thinking. I, I was assuming it was the predefined villages, but no, if you get enough villagers in your house, you will get cats. So, come here, kitty. Come here. Yeah, no, come here. Come here. If I sneak up to him, let's try. Slowly sneak up. All right, just a little more closer. A little closer. All right. I think he's caught behind the lantern, so. Yeah, hi. Am I close enough? Let's. Oh, nope. Yeah. Yay! We got a kitty. Kitty, kitty. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Okay, so we are in the nether, and I am looking for another skull. Um, I'd like to get a beacon. Um, and come on. Come at me, bro. Yep. And another. Yeah. No. I got a looting three sword. So it's really weird. I got uh, two skulls really quick. Um, first time I went into the nether and I didn't even have a, I had nothing. I had just like a straight out sword. Now I've got a looting three sword and I've actually killed quite a few of these guys and I've got nothing. So um, I'm going to try and get one, but uh, spawn rates for the uh, withers um, have not been amazing. So. Ciao. Yeah. All right. So, um, you know, trying to get these guys to follow me and, uh, and, uh, kill a few. So, uh, let's take, uh, uh, did I bring milk? No, I didn't bring milk, did not. No, I didn't. All right. Well, let's just make sure we've got enough food. We'll keep eating and, uh, not die. Not die would be good. Okay. Okay. Lot, uh, lots of blazes or... What the? Oh, oh, yeah, no, that'd be great. Okay, yeah, you too. All right, yeah, nice. All right. So, still no wither skeleton skull yet. Um, but no, hey, yeah, yeah. Where are you? D did you hear? Like, there was like major echo and reverb on that. Yeah, I didn't add that in. That, that was weird. Okay. And I got one. <laughs> yep. Now if we can get out here of life, that's that's the big thing. So um, I'm so afraid of hitting. I'm afraid of hitting the pigment. Um, and these guys have been scaring the you know what out of me. It's like every time I come around a corner, it's like one of them is like right there. So uh, yeah. If I hit one of them, well, I guess it's not as bad as it used to be in the old days, but when I was a kid, pigmen were really bad. No. Uh, okay. Let's, let's, let's get the heck out of here. Okay. So we have one unassigned villager, right? Yeah. You don't have a profession yet. So I've got a number of, uh, should we stop opening that? Goodness. Yeah. I've got enough, enough, um, 
um, librarian. So this one's got 421. I might keep that one. I'm not sure. Um, this one trades for really, really low paper, which is good. This one has infinity, so I want that. The Curse of Binding, I could do with that. Uh, mending. Mending for one... Yeah, check that out. One emerald, one book. Um, I think I might try and convert that guy back. Um, so it's becoming night. Okay. Let's snooze. Oh, really? It's not dark enough. Okay, they know it's dark enough. And... Um, yeah, so like I said, you start getting cats when you get too many of these guys. So, I don't want to put, what do I want? Uh, and I want something else. What do I want for a villager? Let's think about this. I know. I would like one for, I would like a farmer, but I need to set up an area. That's what I really want to do today, come to think of it. So, I don't want to keep these guys in the base. This, they're driving me nuts. Uh, the cats, uh, these guys, if I take them out of here, they wander around, uh, they're just a pain in the butt. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do something and build something where maybe I'll have like a set of double doors that open here down to stairs. And uh, so that they're, it's hidden. Um, but I need to figure out how to do that in such a way that... I, um, then it's hidden because I, I want to clean the base up. I don't like all this crud all over the place. I really would like it to be a lot neater and cleaner and this is just, yeah, drive me nuts. So. All right, guys. Um, I thought I'd quickly show you what I had done for the trash can. Just maybe a little bit more slightly in depth. So, um, you know, the typical trash can is a trap chest on top of a hopper going into a dispenser. Um, so, and then you have your regular uh, redstone clock, um, and the redstone clock, uh, obviously is just, uh, fairly simple clock, but what I really like about this is so you can put things in, you see the clock and then activates the dispenser and it then spits out the item. So it's reading off of the, uh, dispenser, um, once it's got something, but the trap chest I like, because in case you ever put something in by mistake, you at least have you know, a moment to go, oops. And uh, so, and then for the uh, the cactus water drop, um, so it's a total of, let's see, it is uh, with cactus in the center, you go out four blocks and put the wall, uh, oops, yeah, four blocks, and then you create a wall, and then you go up one and put the water on the top block. And then everything just flows straight into the center. Um, and I, I, I just really like this because it quickly destroys whatever items go in. Um, and I think it just creates a lot less lag. So, And a choice between water and uh, lava. Uh, I like the sound of water a little bit better. It's just soothing, I guess. So anyways, uh, really quick, really easy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So until the next time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and bye bye